So let's just, we'll just kind of jump into, so we're gonna give you, we're gonna break you up into groups of four, and we're gonna give you a famous duel, and we're gonna ask you to do a little research on said duel, and then we're going to ask you to write a script, short script, utilizing factual information, as well as um, taking dramatic license so you can engage your audience. So these are real duels that happened, uh, in history, and we're going to incorporate some of the uh, things we talked about in this class, such as dramatic license, historical fact, where the fiction comes in, and why it's done. So, some of you have been given a duel between Miss Braddock and Miss Elphinstone. Some have been given a duel between the Russian uh, poet named Pushkin and George Anthes. Some have the duel between President Andrew Jackson and Charles Dickinson. And finally, we have a duel with swords between Ben Johnson and Gabriel Spencer of the Shakespearean era. And the deal will be for you to research these things, these duels, to pull out some facts, and then maybe fictionalize a little bit to get the audience very uh, sort of buying in and interested into the yeah. duel. So think, think I'm thinking about some of the ways that you um, can take dramatic license by modernizing it, by bringing in, right, by bringing in some comedy, um, and those are the kinds of ways that you're going to take some, some license to engage your audience, um, to educate and engage. Do any of you have questions on the things you could do in a duel? Well, I have to say, uh, the entire, I think the entire lesson was student-centered. Uh, the only thing we really did was assign them groups. Um, and after that, they were doing the research. They could construct the skit as they felt. They could pick the costumes that they wanted. Yeah. Um, they could incorporate historical facts. They could add in. Yep, they fiction. chose all of they chose all of the dramatic effects that they were going to use. Whether they were going to incorporate music, or they were going to incorporate, if they were going to modernize it. Um, some of them actually chose to write it like as a poem, um, whereas other kids set it up as a specific, you know, skit where it was dialogue. Um, so they set they yeah they figured all of that out. Well, the day that I had to take them down to get costumes, I'll start there because that was amazing to me. I, I'm not a theater person, uh, Lisa is, but I brought them down and they bought right into the role and they got right into character. Um, even walking down the hall back to the classroom, how they walked and how they carried themselves was just much different. Uh, and as a history teacher, I just found that really fascinating and just awesome. It's human nature to want to fight and being able to reenact that sort of thing like on a stage and like... Yeah. It's like you're you're living through someone else's life because it's history and that's what makes it cooler than like fictional stuff because you're like trying to imagine how this person actually felt because this is a thing that happened and I think that's what makes this class like cool and different from the other acting classes. Yeah. Making like, like great. doing something that you make is always like super engaging because it's like something that you know inside and out because it came out of your head and it was engaging. Okay. This is your last chance. Apologize or face your death. We'll see who dies, sir. So we're going to do this? Yes, sir. We are. Gentlemen, take your places. Ready. One, two, three, four, five. Face. Fire. Uh, uh, hey, Brandon. Try to throw up my <laughs> Have you looked at the script, Brandon? Take some practice with your script with your teammates. And we're going to need music. Wait, okay. Let's do music. Okay. We need music. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. 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 let us Hey, you, you want to fight? No, no, no. Hey, you, let's fight. No, we're just playing around. The one who was like writing the script and like the way that I wanted it to go and how I wanted it to like rhyme and stuff, like that did take some thinking process because like you have to like sit there and like make a list and like plan it out and make sure things go smoothly. 